Beats Bath, and today I'm going to do an unboxing of all my presents and gifts that I got for Christmas from family. So I'm going to start off with this Frabel ice fishing rod. This is the Frabel Sub-Zero. It's 22 inches and it's ultralight. I'll probably be using this for panfish, trout, and maybe bass. So can't wait for the ice season. And then it has the nice strong grips on it. So that's not that reel is not going to go anywhere. And it's a one ball bearing reel. So it's relatively smooth, but you don't need that like extra smooth when you're just working a fish up through the ice. It's more about playing the fish out. The next thing I got was the 13 Fishing Concept A reel. It's a really nice reel. It has the cork knobs, which is one of their signature things for the Concept series. So it also has 22 pounds of bull dra uh, bulldog drag. And now it has the new and improved beetle wing side plate so you can pull it off when you're changing how like fast you want your spool to spin which is nice now because you don't have to worry about dropping it in the water and losing it it's a 7.3 to 1 gear ratio so it's good for really I can really use it for anything which is nice since I don't have that many rod and reel combos uh, onto the baits one of the first things I got was a spinner bait by Strike King it's the Banshee series spinnerbait. It has the painted willow blade on it with like the bluegill pattern. The pattern's called Gilly. And it comes with the trailer hook, which is nice, so you don't have to go through all the trouble to work that on there. And it has the nice head that's not going to chip. And a nice skirt with like the extra length to it. Next bait I got was the Z Man Chatterbait. It is a one half ounce in black and blue with silver blade. Of course, it comes with their signature little trailer. Let's see if I have it in here. No, I don't have it in here, but I have a sawtail worm tail on the end of it, which will work just as good. So that's also nice. For line, I got spider wire stealth braid in 40 pound test and it's going to be 125 yards and it's their fluoro coated braid so it's smoother on the reel it's not like the power pro braid that kind of gets sticky together so it has good castability i use this for frogging i have 65 pound braid on one of my other reels and i really like it i haven't had to uh retie any times or because i haven't broken any knots or broken any line Next thing I got is the laser trocar hooks by Eagle Claw. I got these in a 4 aught EWG hook. These sharp, these hooks are the sharpest hooks on the market. You can't go wrong with them. Their tips penetrate the bass's mouth so hard I actually have a hard time getting it out sometimes. So these are also very good. Next thing I got is the Speed Shad from Bass Pro Shops. It's basically the exact same thing as a Kitek, but it's cheaper. And I got these in a green pumpkin color, which will be really good on the back of chatterbaits and swim jigs. And you can also Texas rig it with a weighted uh, EWG hook, which will be really good during the spawn season working those over beds. So I can't wait to use these. One of the other things I got for Christmas was P-Line Fluoro Clear. It's the leading copolymer line on the market, and I got it in 600 yards of 12-pound test. It's super clear, doesn't break easily. It's abrasion resistance, so that's good. Around rocks, like I fish for smallies. Stop. So the next thing I got for Christmas was the Zoom Trick Worms. They're the Super Salt Plus in green pumpkin, purple green. So it's the green pumpkin with green flake and purple flake. It's in a 20 pack, and I'm pretty sure that these are six or six inches. So these will be good on shaky heads, which is what I intend to use them for, or on Texas rigs, which will be good. The next thing I got for Christmas. was uh, Texas rig bullet weights. I got these in quarter ounce 
and they are in a green pumpkin color. They're in lead weights because I can't afford tungsten. Tungsten's too expensive. So these will work really well. I can't wait to use these. Pitching like creature baits around docks. Next thing I got was the Berkeley Havoc Pit Boss in green pumpkin, green purple. I love this color. It just works so good for really any type of bait. It has that nice, those nice four leg profile and it's just a good overall bait. I love using this. Pitching, flipping docks and throwing it on like a jig head and tossing it out on a rocky point. So that'll work really well at my grandparents lake house. The next thing I got was the Zoom Super Flukes. I got these in the green pumpkin, green purple flake. Again, these are a five this is the five inch version, the standard because the bass at my grandparents lake house just absolutely devour these and same with the pond through my through the woods through my house. These are the Z-Man Sawtail Worms. And the thing I love about Z-Man is their baits last very long. I mean, like, look at that stretch. They're very tough, and they just don't break. The only time I've had one break is because a snapping turtle got it, and it just bit clean through it. But I'm not expecting for it to withstand that, so they're really, really good baits. I probably caught, like... 30 fish on one bait, like one of their coolest sticks, which I highly recommend. I'll probably put a link down in the bio. Uh, there'll probably be links in the description for all these baits and all the reels. Next thing I got was the Ribbit Baby Ribbit, and it's uh, like a topwater frog bait. These are very, very well known baits. Um, so they're like four inches. But these kick up so much water, and I got these in the bullfrog color. It's like a greenish yellow bottom with a watermelon red flake top. These will work really good at the pond uh, by my house and my grandparents' lake house. So these will be really good. Probably use these with like a 3 aught EWG hook. Next thing I got, I already opened this one. This is the Savage Gear Trout. This is a five inch model and it's in dark trout. It's one and a quarter ounces. There's a pond where I go to and they stock it with live trout. So it's gonna be really good for summer on hot days and it's very deep. It's a glacier pond. So just bumping this off all the rocks on the bottom. It's going to be really good for the big largemouth and big smallmouth in that pond. Hopefully, maybe even a big brown trout would like to hit this. So, that's going to be a really good bait. Has the standard jig hook. Maybe I'll put a little treble hook on the bottom, but I'm not sure yet. Next bait I got was the Missile Bait Missile Craw in Oxblood Red. These are going to be really, really good at my grandparents' lake house for the rock point smallmouth. Tossing out on there like a wobble head, football wobble head. Just letting this thing to the bottom and jerking it. Because the, the crawfish have the exact same color as this. Like the brownish kind of red. So that will be a really good imitation for those craws. Next thing I got was the Berkeley Havoc Bottom Hopper in a green pumpkin red flake. These are also going to work really good on shaky heads. These are basically the same exact thing as the Zoom Trick Worms. Well, I just got them in a different color. But these are probably half the price. So I like this because it's cheap and it's affordable for people who are on a budget. Getting down to the last couple things. This is the Berkeley Trilee and Cold Weather line. This is probably this is three pound line. This is gonna probably go on my Frable ice fishing rod once the line wears out. And it's a blue color, electric blue. It's gonna work really nice. It's that electric blue. 
so it'll look good and it will probably hopefully work good. Never use this. This is this will be my first season ice fishing, so I'm excited for that. All right, next thing I got was the Berkeley Havoc Sickfish Junior in a green penny color. Let's see if I can get that to focus without the glare. They're really good. Probably throw these ones on a drop shot around beds for the smallmouth and largemouth bass. The next uh, pack I got, the next thing I got was the Equica Trocar Mag Swimbait Hooks. These are in a 5 aught size and they're twist lock. And just like I said about the other hooks before, they're like super sharp. You can have a hard time getting them out. Once you get a fish pin, it's not going to come off, I promise you that. Then I got the Gambler Ugly Otter in 4 inch green pumpkin. Gambler always has that, like their generic garlic smell. Very strong, but it really does draw the fish in. So it's going to be really good. I'll probably throw these maybe on the back of a jig or just on a Texas rig. Next thing I got were the Berkeley Sickfish in clear brim. So it basically it looks like a perch color more than a brim color, if anything. And these are four inches. So and I got it's two to a pack. I'll probably throw these also on beds on a Texas rig since they have that little slot on the top. So I'm coming down to the last few things, and then here I have the Pepper Custom Baits Fred Robonis. Uh, swim jig. It's in a gilly color, so and I'll probably throw those Bass Pro Shops Speed Chad on one of the back since it's like the perfect color coordination. So that'll be really good at my grandparents' lake house too. Next thing, coming up on the last two things I said, I think these are the Gambler, the Easy Swimmers, and Melon Chad, and these are. Doesn't say how long they are. I'm assuming four, four and a half inches, maybe five. I'm not sure, but I'll have it down in the description. So it has like the gold glitter bottom and a watermelon top, watermelon seed. So it'll be really good on a Texas rig. I may, I may even throw one of these on the back of that swim jig, but I don't know yet. I believe this is the last thing. Let me check. Yep, this is the last thing. This is the biggest pack. It's the Bass Pro Shop Tournament Series Sticko 50 pack. This is a watermelon seed with a chartreuse tip. I love these because they come in a bulk pack and these were on sale for $4.99 for a 50 pack. Other than instead of being eight uh ten dollars so that was a really good deal and i couldn't miss out on that so i got a bass pro shops gift card and i got the shipping and it came in on time like it said it would so that's gonna be really good i can't wait to use these all right thank you for watching subscribe like this video comment what other videos you'd like me to do thank you